Before I begin today's video, I want to make a quick apology to Skynova the Carnotaurus. I am really sorry for not including your question in the QA video. I was so caught up with polishing the rest of that video that your question completely flew over my head. It wasn't until like a week later I found an image of your question and saw that I forgot to include it in the video. Let me make it up to you now by answering the question. What got me into dinosaurs? Toys that I used to play around with when I was very, very little. What was my first online multiplayer video game? 2008's Turok! What a coincidence. So yeah, sorry for not including that in the QA video, and for that matter, sorry for taking this long to answer it. I hope I don't do this with anyone else's question next time around. But anyway, on to the video. So the idea was, I get a little bit of experience in ARK before I do any videos on it. Just a little. I don't think I need to explain further. But with all the experience gained, I have quite a bit to show off and talk about, so let's not hesitate any longer and proudly introduce this channel to the best dinosaur game since Primal Carnage before 1.3, ARK Survival Evolved. So let's start off with what I get asked on Steam here and there, because I'm sure that same question is roaming around in your head. How many dinosaurs have I tamed? Lots. But I'll show you the ones I take around more often than others. This is Sierra. My first ever dino I've tamed on this game. I pretty much use her like any other guy with a stego and collect berries for taming and feeding other herbivore creatures. This is Bolter. My go-to transportation on the island. While I know there are better creatures to fill the transportation role, I feel none bring the balance between health and speed like Carnos do. Besides, nothing like an extra 100% movement speed can't fix to make this Carno more efficient at transportation than most of the Argentavises on this server. This is Roxy, my weight carrier Carno. Again, I know there are better creatures for that, but I just really like Carnos in this game, goddammit, so don't judge! This here is my last Carno and most favorite dinosaur I've tamed so far, Brutus. A and the name kinda speaks for itself. I mean, look at these stats. I have trained this Carno to be the meanest of mean motherfuckers. Now on to stuff that isn't a Carno, my prize Spinosaur, a new bitch. You know, I wish I screenshotted the first time I saw her. I'm not joking, because the first encounter was jaw-dropping. I was in so much shock and awe that the thought of taking a picture never occurred to me. So believe me or not, when I found her, her territory had a pile of, I shit you not, Nine dead spinos. So, any other questions as to why I wanted to tame her? And finally, my third go-to battle mount, Betsy Sue. A T-Rex soon to be the pain-bringing lady of the server, I plan to up her melee damage past 3000%. She's still got quite a bit to go, but she'll potentially have the capability to one-shot any poor bastard that gets in her way. So that's all my go-to dinosaurs. The following you get to see me play around with in this video is Betsy Sue, a new bitch, and Brutus. Now let's get on to praising and criticizing this gnarly game. Let me start this off with singing some high praise. This game deserves to be crowned one of the best dinosaur games of all time. It deserves a throne next to the all-time greatest dinosaur games, but as of now, it holds a temporary throne and crown, for as the king said themselves, Come forth out of early access, and you shall sit beside us till the end of days. Now as little as I'm inclined to believe something can go wrong during early access development, these devs are doing such an amazing job making their game, it's hard to imagine how they can screw up in the end. 
with their constant updates, progress reports, Q&As, and so forth. I think they've assured us that they've got their future pretty well handled, and all's gonna be good in the end. Having said that, let's get on to what I like and dislike about the game. I think I should get the obvious out of the way and just say this game has some of the gnarliest looking dinosaurs and prehistoric mammals I have ever seen. Most having features their real life counterparts didn't have, but just makes the creature look that much more of a force to reckon with. And the fact that you can ride these things just makes it that much more awesome, making them your kick-ass comrade for life. I do have a few gripes with some of the models and animations for some of these animals though, but for the most part, I'm really impressed with how the creatures in this game look. I also like the attribute system, how you can level up your survivor and dino stats to build a playstyle that best fits you. They give you quite a few attributes to level up such as health, stamina, oxygen, food and water, weight, melee damage, movement speed, fortitude, and crafting speed. Now I'm not a stranger to this kind of thing in video games, but what I like about it here is it's so custom. Other games just have preset classes and perks, you can't alter the percentage of certain stats in those games like you can here. It allows you to choose how you wish to approach your desired role. You could be a speedy weight carrying crafter, or a tanky damage dealer, a survivor that can go a long time without food or water, or hell. Upgrade the oxygen and you could be a freaking mermaid if you want. There's so many ways to customize your survivors and dinosaurs performance that it'll leave you to try other crazy builds to mess around with. I have yet to mess around with more survivors but I definitely tame other dinosaurs just to try to level up something insane and make it an all around fun mount to be on. Another thing I like are the craftable items you can make. Not the crafting itself, however, but I'll get onto that in a moment. But I love how this game gives you so much to work with that if you have any crazy ideas as to how you can outfit yourself or build your base, you could probably do it. Heck, even I try to come up with some awesome ideas as to how I want to build a base. Now, onto the crafting itself. I don't like it in the sense of how much resource gathering is involved with most of these items. I mean, yeah, I get it. You need this stuff in order to make it. You can't just magically pull whatever out of your ass whenever you like because otherwise that defeats the purpose of crafting. But to me, it's so boring having to run back and forth to put resources in a smithy or fabricator. Another thing that really annoys me too is some items need a resource that can only be obtained by combining other resources together, leaving you having to go out and get twice as more resources just so you have enough of that combined resource to craft a specific item. Heck, some resources need to be cooked over long periods of time, so unless you want to well supply yourself with those resources, it's best you keep up with gathering the resources it takes to make them while giving yourself other things to do while you wait for those resources to be done. Which I guess adds to the playing value when you multitask cause you know you can do this while that's doing that and so on and so forth. But for me, gathering and making resources is just boring and not my thing. On to more things I dislike about the game is the taming. It takes way too long. Even when I'm playing on a server where we have it sped up to tame three times faster, it still takes a good portion of my game time on here. For those that don't know, the way to tame dinos in this game is to knock them out with trank arrows, put plenty of narc berries or narcotics, plus meat, food or kibble, in its inventory, keep it knocked out by force feeding it berries and narcotics, and wait for the taming bar to reach 100%. This process can take far more hours than it needs to, and if not entirely focused on this, can lead to losing taming effectiveness or the dinosaur altogether. I feel it's because the dinosaurs are never hungry when you go and tame them. Which of course makes sense, because wild animals would know when they need to fill their bellies with food, but because of this, when you are in the process of taming, you need to wait for the dinosaur to get hungry enough to eat the food you put in its inventory, and it takes them a long time for them to feel the need to snack on whatever you give them. 
I feel if they made Trank Arrows decrease their food bar and make Narco Berries decrease more of their food bar as well, this should improve the taming a little. Now on to my biggest problem of the game, and I would believe this is mostly a PvE thing, lack of game motivating objectives. Don't get me wrong, this game gives you plenty to do from the start, but what does it all amount to in the end? Repetitiveness, that's what. Unless you can motivate yourself to create some contraptions that can add replay value to your island, all you'll be doing in the end is crafting, taming and killing dinosaurs, and fighting the bosses. And again, that's all if you're up to doing that, which most of the time, you probably won't be, cause crafting often takes a lot of resources, taming takes forever, and in the game's current state there aren't too many bosses to fight. I do have one really great idea for PvE to add more verity in its gameplay though. Who remembers the outposts in Far Cry 3 and 4? The preset bases for enemies of the game you can go and capture and win capture can give you rewards like less enemies within the area, XP depending on how you captured it, and side objectives. I think Ark needs a similar concept but instead, and this is just for the sake of keeping the we're on an isolated planet that's similar to Earth theme, have alien NPCs come down to raid your island and over time they will set up bases by scavenging resources around the area and over time they will become more heavily armed and fortified. The cons will be the obvious. Resources will be more scarce around the area they set up their base and if you trespass it could lead to consequences depending on how well they've armed themselves. The pro being is if you take them out when they've met their max potential, you will gain huge rewards for taking them out. So that gives you the option to either take them out when you don't feel like having pesky aliens on the island or wait for them to build hard as hell areas to take out and have your well built tribe go in and take them out to gain insanely good and well deserved loot. Now I do think they should keep the aliens within their base area and not go out and look for your base cause, well that's the reason you're on PvE, cause you hate to get raided when you're not playing the game. They could make it a server option but honestly I think this is an epic idea to add to ARK, might even consider looking back into ART to make a fan made dossier for these aliens. All in all this game is amazing. Loads of creatures to tame and level up, attributes that allow you to play the game in many different ways, tons of things to craft and to mess around with. This game offers a lot, but it's only if I feel like going through the trouble of obtaining it, which sometimes I don't mind, other times I do, which leads me to just hopping off the game. But I really look forward to seeing what the devs have in store for this game's magnificent future. Alright, now that I've said everything on ARK, it's time to explain something here that I said I would back in my QA. I said in that video I was really hesitant of purchasing ARK. Most of you probably wondered why. Well, it's cause I've been really doubtful of new dinosaur games cause of the recent dinosaur games we've had in the past couple years. Let's not kid ourselves. A lot of recent dinosaur games have not delivered long lasting appeal. They've brought potential from the start, but then everyone gave up on those games because the devs couldn't keep up, and now those games have so much problems going for them, they aren't even worth bothering with anymore. They have their charm that appealed to those that bought it day one, but no way can they be considered good games. I felt Ark was going to take that same route, be something amazing from the start, only to get ruined in the end. But after hearing my friends not shutting up about the game, how well the devs are updating it and interacting with their fans, watching a few videos, I was pretty convinced this game is going to be good in the long run. Keep up the good work wildcard, please set an example as to how a dinosaur game, and video games like that in general, should be done. Alright that's all for now, I hope you enjoyed this lengthy commentary. And if you did, be sure to do the usual, and hopefully I can get more ARC videos posted soon. This is Alien Dinosaur Hunter, signing out. Peace! Oh yeah! 
I still have yet to explain what I was saving up for that prevented me from purchasing ARK earlier. 